what's going on YouTube back at it with another video in this video I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak pretty much using uncover okay you're gonna need a Mac for this video or Windows I'm showing you on a Mac so let's get it started as you can see I, I'm <coughs> streaming my, my iPhone to the screen as you can see all right let me put on okay so let's get started all right first thing if you watch my previous video i showed you how to sign apps to your device you're gonna need to watch that video first because it I'm not gonna go through the explanation pretty much you need all I'll tell you the apps you need you need all deploy all deploy and you're gonna need the uncover okay so the links will be in the description I'll show you uncover quick there we go this is the site to get the jailbreak as you can see what is compatible with these are the, the OS is compatible with so if you're in one of these OS's you're in luck you can jailbreak your device okay just hit the download I already got it I nah, do it again it's a quick download anyway there you go now we close up for far if you I'll show you the other site anyway quick fast just in case if you don't have alt deploy installed already you have to install this first the breakdown is right here on everything once you download it helps you out right there shows you even how to use the app for the people that don't know how to use it and don't want to go see my video the website actually breaks down exactly how to use it okay now we close up Safari and you can sign pretty much any well most apps you can sign to them like i've signed popcorn i've signed cody to my ipad doing the same method okay so let's get started it's simple once we're done here you'll be jailbroken and you can install other tweaks and a whole bunch of different stuff okay so let us get it started all right downloads there it is right there all deploy where are you where are you here you go right here oh key thing you always got to have your mail open when you go to sign if your mail isn't open it isn't going to sign correctly so make sure your mail is open as you open this okay now just drag the jailbreak to the window now as I said I'm spoke upon my previous video of all deploy you can have multiple iCloud IDs in here to sign your apps just make one up that's all if you don't want to use your official one you could just go to Apple make another one and then use that in here how you would put it in here is straight through here as you can see add Apple ID and this is to manage all of your Apple IDs that you already added okay and this is already installed let's use this one and just start mm -hmm. I'm covering it. I should be letting y'all see it. My fault. It's finalizing. There it goes. See it right there. Now we go on to the device. You have to go into your settings, general, and then go into device management. Then the email that you signed it with, the app you signed it with. In my case, it's this jailbreak. I gotta hit trust. 
There you go. Now it's ready to be opened to jailbreak. But before we do any of that, it's suggested by the jailbreak, people that created the jailbreak, I should say, to put your device on airplane mode before you do this. There you go. Airplane mode. Now, open the jailbreak. And hit jailbreak. Don't be surprised if it, it shuts it down and it restarts. Sometimes that happens once or twice. And hit jailbreak. Yep, see? This is going to hit a restart. Hit OK. It's restarting now. I'll show you. I'm recording the phone live through my through my GoPro. So you'll see that video when I do the editing on the side right now. Okay, there we go. Back on. Okay. Hit that. All right. Now hit it again. Hit jailbreak again. And there we go. This device is jailbroken. Now it'll respring into the jailbreak. Let's close that. All right. Now I see you froze there. So let's close you and reopen you quick fast. But, uh, okay, I see we're having some issues right now. You don't want to connect to it. All right, let's do this first. Close this. Close quick time again. And reopen quick time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's a software update, but we're not doing that because we like to stay jailbroken. So can you stop giving me that pop up, please? I already know. That is so annoying. Okay. So for me, I'm trying to get it back on the screen. Let's, my fault. Okay. Go into applications quick fast. Quick time. Close this off. Oh, we recording. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, we're back now. Okay. There we go. Let's put this over here. Okay. Now, from here, what we're going to do, let's pick this up. Okay, now, as you saw, Cydia, let's take it off of airplane mode. Okay, general, got to go into general, of course, and then go back to device management, make sure it's signed, it's verified, good to go. Well. Technically, I signed it with the computer, so I didn't really have to do that. But I just make sure. Sometimes you do. Okay, there goes Uncover, and there goes Cydia. That lets you, once you see Cydia, you already know you're jailbroken. Now, from here, I'm going to install a couple of tweaks.
Okay, you're always going to get this. A complete upgrade. Confirm. <clears throat> Hit respring. Okay. City again. Okay. Now we go into sources. Now we're going to add sources. You hit edit, add, and now let's add continue. You're going to add your first source. Okay, so for the first source, we're going to add Spark Dev. Spark Dev dot me slash Turn the city here. Add another source. Okay. Access sources in there ready. Oh, let's should I put the iPhone? Okay. No matter of fact, let's put this source as a better source. Cydia dot K I I I M O dot O R G slash These are regular sources I like to install because they they allow me to test out a lot of apps because I purchase a lot of my city of tweaks, but I won't purchase it unless I can try it first. So this repo I just put in, I can't really pronounce it. And I don't want to butcher it. Ke chemo, chemi, chemo. Repository has all of the paid tweaks for free, but I don't suggest you really, you know, if you're going to test it, then put it on but you know support the developers that make these apps you know they take they spend a lot of time on making these apps so support them you could test it with it and then you know if you like it delete it and go purchase it because most of the most of the the good apps on i think the highest app i paid for was probably spring spring to Mize, which is an awesome app it does so much tweaking to your os and I might have paid, I think it was $4.99 for that one or $3.99. One of those two. Phil, five, under $5. And the rest of the apps are usually $1.99, $2.99, $3.99. You know, they're not expensive apps. About the same price as the App Store. And you'll always have them. Because they get linked to you, <clears throat> to your account that you make. Anyway, so let's get back at it. Now, I'm going to go to search. I'm going to store our first tweak which I always install this cylinder right there. Awesome tweak. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay. Right now, this is what Cylinder does. All right. Super cool tweak. All right. You could tweak so much different things with Cylinder. I mean, not tweak, but, you know, in general, um, you could change the effects. I mean, not tweak. Right now, it has the curve inside. I like to use usually curl and roll away. Curl and roll, and you can use multiples at the same time. Curl and roll away, and the disappearing one. Where is it? Oh, you shrink. I mean, shrink completely. Those are the two I like to use. Okay. There we go. Fluently, you gotta love these. Now, my next tweak that I install. Let's go back to Cydia. Okay, the next tweak will be, hold on, give me one second. Looking through my tweak list while I do this. Uh, I don't know, let's do, let's see if I put in snowboard. Okay, snowboard is pretty much a demon tweak. This is how I have, matter of fact, let me just show you on my iPhone. This is how I have my 11 Pro looking like this. As you can see, the icons are different. That's from this app pretty much. All right, go back to this, modify, install. Respring. Okay, now open it up. You're going to see that in the beginning. When it goes away, then you can touch the screen. Okay, now you go into settings. You saw the icons, they were normal, right? Now we're gonna change up the icons and everything. Since I haven't installed the theme in there, this is where you will go to the theme. You select the theme, it'll be in there, okay? Right now, I don't, I haven't got a theme in there, so I'm gonna do the icons. This allows you to turn the icons, if you turn it on, make them fully round. This one is to customize the size. If you wanna make them a little bit smaller, Turn that on. I always turn that on too. And you can hide some stuff there if you want to use that. Okay. No respring necessary for this. It automatically works as you can see. There you go. Okay. Now, let's do something a little more. As a matter of fact, while I'm at it, let me show you how to install popcorn in one shot. Might as well, okay. Now, give me one second. Open my city over here. Okay, sources. Install. Let's type in Safari Plus. Safari. Oh, wait. Uh -oh. There we go. Safari Plus. Install this. Confirm. That's the first thing to install. Respring it. And the next thing we want to install. Okay, what happened there? Okay, no, I went to sleep. <laughs> All right, hey, come on. You need to stop moving around, stay there. All right. 
next. So uh, let's go into settings and configure that quick. Right here, Safari Plus. Privacy right here, uploads, turn that on, turn that on. Turn on the first one. There we go. That's good on the settings right there. Okay, next, we gotta get one more thing. It's called reprovision. Reprovision I use for signing apps. So you can actually use this to re-sign your jailbreak every six days at the same time. You only allow three though, three signed apps with uh, um, with a, dev a free developer's account from Apple. You only allow three apps to be able to sign three apps to a device. Okay, uh, so I suggest have always your uncover signed and if you whatever app that you use the main me i like popcorn like i said so that's what i'll be using a sign so let's go find that you're going to need the source yes you do need the source for reprovision okay so let's put in the source repo dot i n c E N D O dot W S slash at source. There we go. Return there. Now go straight into that source. You just add it, tweaks, and there goes reprovision right there. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to end this video soon because my GoPro is dying. Store that. So I need to speed up this process. Okay. Restart. I'll have another video up with all the tweaks that I have on my 11 Pro. So that way you can see all that you can do with your device when it's jailbroken. And much more. Okay. There goes reprovision in there. Okay. So now, matter of fact, let's install a couple more things since I already have the repo in there to do it. Okay, first things first. Let's look for App Cake. Let's see which one is this. 5602. Yeah, that one's good. If I'm not mistaken, 613 is the one. Yeah, it's that one I need. Cancel. Done. Okay, that's what you're going to be installing right there. Confirm. Respring. Okay. Go right back into there again. This one I'm just adding because for my Cody people, Cody is in there as you can see. 64 bit device, Cody 18.6. That's the most stablest Cody out right now. Okay, you can install it and you won't ever have to sign this because you're installing it through Cydia. So any app you install through Cydia never needs to be signed. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, if y'all watch my videos, then you know I put builds on these video on Cody. So all you gotta do is go back to one of them after you do this, and you can install a build on it. And you'll have your movies and everything on Cody wherever you go. 
The screen is small on the phone, so I would suggest if you're going to install Kodi, I'm just doing it just to show you that it installs and everything. But I would suggest putting it on an iPad, bigger screen. Looks better. There we go. Return to city. All right. Now, what else? What else can we install right now? I got the snowboard on there. Oh, yeah, before I forget, for all my people that have Spectrum or any Verizon or anything like that, when you jailbreak your device, they they have a jailbreak to detection on their apps, so you're going to need to to get a jailbreak detection app installed. Which I had right here. I don't remember where I put it. Let me look at my over here. One second. Okay. We need to put in the repo for that. Okay, so go back in sources, edit, add. No source. Oh, come on. Sources. Okay. We uh repo R E P O slash Oh my mistake dot uh C O C O dot K R slash add that source and the bypass tweak we're going to be putting in is called a bypass a slash bypass okay slash bypass there you go right there that's it right there install that Applix. Oh, if you get this right there, it's because you have to install a different repository. Where is it? Where is it? Give me one second. We can cancel that. Oh, there goes my GoPro. Battery dead. Okay, so we'll be doing the rest of this through the computer. All right. So, next up, all right, so what we need is the source, the source for the updated, okay, there we go, well, my fault, sources, edit, add, and add this source, Ooh, my fault again. ch slash repo slash add source return and you see the two updates automatically what it was asking for. It was asking for that app list, right? See how fix quick we fix that. Hit upgrade and install. Respring. Okay. There we go. Back into Cydia, and now 
straight to the jailbreak again. Well, excuse me, the bypass for jailbreak detection. Search it a bypass on the top. There it is right there. And it actually tells you if you read it right there. The repo we just put in. That's the repo we just put in. Okay, install. There we go. Respring. Okay. Back in there. Go back up. Back in Cydia. I'm going to give you something else too. It's called anti revoke for apps. Number two. Okay. Install that. Okay. Now. Okay. Yes, I know I need to log in. Okay. So there we go. Let's open Cody quick fast just so you can see it, it works. As you can see, remember as always, hit the settings. The first thing you want to do, settings, system, go to add-ons, turn that on. Yes. Now you're ready to add on some repos in there. All right, but we're getting out of here just, just to show you that it runs and works perfectly. All right, close, close, close. Now, let's get... Let's go get popcorn. Close. Thank you for installing. Okay. So just type this in. Continue. HTTP. Slash. 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 Grid. Hub. Dot. Slash capital P popcorn capital T for time popcorn time capital T capital V slash again capital P popcorn. Capital T for time. Time. TV again. Capital. The T and the V. Capital. Slash. Release. Release. Sis. Slash tag slash three point two point thirty five go. <clears throat> there we go. Right here at the bottom where it says assets, you tap that, and there you go. That's the one. You got the one for the Apple TV, and you have the one for your i <clears throat> for your regular i device. Excuse me, for your regular iPhones and iPads, and then you have the TV time for Apple TV. So hit that one. Download. On this one, because I didn't sign in with my Apple ID or anything until. Okay, it's done. Oh, quick. I want to say. I didn't sign into Apple to reprovision. Just hit, when you open this, just hit dismiss. Right here, you got to sign in 
with your Apple D or as I told you, just like Alt de- Deploy. Just make up an Apple ID. Go to the, go to <clears throat> to Apple site. Make an iCloud account. Apple ID, same thing. And then you put it in here, and that will help you sign the app every time. Okay. I'm gonna put this down for a second just so I can put in my stuff. Hit confirm. Check in signing, check in device, storing login information. There we go, we done. Now it's ready to be signed. You see it right there? You see uncover? So all you gotta do is check every five to six days and just tap it and it's gonna resign it automatically. Anyway, let's go back to Safari. Because we had just finished that download. Hit the down with the downloads. Excuse me. Right here. Tap on eh, popcorn. Open in. Right to reposition. Copy to reposition. There we go. Now hit the install. Uh, maximum number. Of certifications granted okay so what we got to do now is go into here events we're gonna wait my phone where is that again at uh, here well for manage certifications uh, you see the app deploy? We can get rid of that right now, though. Just get rid of it. Delete. Revoke. Just hit that. Revoke all certifications. And go back. Go back to A again. Hit the copy to reprovision again. Hit the install again. As I said, I have multiple devices, so you can only sign three apps with each with each um iCloud account. And as you can see we up to fifty percent no it's going through. Oh this is a long video huh forty one minutes. Hope you enjoy it. I hope it made your lives easier because now you got some jailbreak your device one of your maybe one of those devices you got on the side you don't use that much and you can use it as a streamer pretty much you got an apple tv you're good to go stream from your device to your apple tv so now we got popcorn as you can see they both signed uncover and popcorn a sign now we get out of here there you go there it goes right there let's tap on it okay go to the bottom hit accept and there we go. Movies. Yeah. There you go. Then you got your TV shows. As you can see, works flawlessly with no issues whatsoever. You can watch the movies or do whatever you choose to with them. Okay. This is your boy Bass. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Later. Don't forget to subscribe or hit that thumbs up button if you like if you feeling these videos. I appreciate it when you do. Thank you very much. Any issues you already know, as you can see, hit me up in the comment section. I try to help everybody out. Just, you know, give me at least within 24 hours to get back at you. But I usually get back to everybody. All right. Later.